Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna take you through this shop build, 30 by 50, built it from scratch. You're watching Timberman TV. We're at the shop build that me and my crew built for an awesome client. This is actually the pastor of our local church and they're using this building for their youth ministry by putting skate ramps inside. The inside's totally killer, but before we get inside, I actually wanna walk around the perimeter and talk to you about how we did the build. We actually started this project in November in Idaho when it was completely freezing. We had the foundation poured and we had to stop, had to push to spring of 2022 before we can get back out here and start erecting this structure. So the first thing we did is framed our exterior walls. And once it's done, it's been clouded with this awesome tough rib steel, nice eaves, roof, fascia. It just came out absolutely beautiful. Funny story, actually, when I built these walls, a huge windstorm came in. I didn't have it braced up quite strong enough. Half the thing came down. I was not having a fun day that day, let me tell you. In the structure, we framed in these huge five by five windows. These things let in a lot of light, super nice to have. Let's continue to walk through the back. Fun part about working back here on the structure is the ground actually slopes down. So to get up here in a lift, this structure seems so much taller than it does at the front of the building. So being back here was definitely interesting when we were framing all these members. I had a big telehandler 10K to lift our beams which were six by 22s. I think they were like about a thousand pounds each beam. And we had to drive through here around, this RV wasn't here, but around this way, just to set everything and all of our rafters up here. And it was just quite amazing how we pulled it all off. So here's the main power line that we actually stubbed up. I actually took a mini excavator and trenched. You can kind of see the dirt path here leading all the way back to the house, pulling power off the house trenching all the way down to the shop and that's how we got our power into this building now for the fun part let's go inside and check out the interior all right and now for the inside of the structure i'll take you through the framing how this was designed and this is really designed as a stick build which you would see in normal housing construction where we have two by four every 16 inches on top of a sill plate that is bolted down to j bolts under each beam we have a stack of five posts together to give support. When you look at the size of each one of these beams, these are the largest beams I've actually ever installed. The engineer wanted this size beam, three of them for this structure with shear walls on each side and plywood because of the wind and snow load that happened up here in the hillsides of East Idaho. Winds can get gusts up to 50, 60 miles an hour with a lot, a lot of snow. So this structure had to be very sound to handle that type of extreme weather. There's also, if you look up, you can see these square shop lights. These are 5,000 lumen lights. They may not look bright in the video, however, at night, these things light up the shop very well, very efficient, being LEDs doesn't take up as much power either as fluorescent or halogens. What better way to celebrate building this structure than having a freaking half pipe inside of it that the local youth group can come and have a blast. This has been absolutely awesome project and they've been able to do a lot of ministry in here already and i can't wait to build more structures like this super simple build again it's just like framing a house and it's all cladded with metal all the way around i actually used to skateboard a lot in southern california definitely a little rusty but i think i could pick it up again if i spent some time in here practicing whoa All right, guys, you saw how we built this 30 by 50 skate barn. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a comment if you learned something or just enjoyed watching it. You're watching Timberman TV. We'll see you next time.